It is Saturday, August 22nd, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including after pandemic, China's leaders face new challenges from flooding. Also, courtesy of UPI, Three Gorges Dam hits record levels as flooding continues in China. Next, courtesy of Market Watch, historic flooding presents biggest ever challenge for China's massive Three Gorges Dam. We also have some photos courtesy of China Daily and some new footage. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 167.64 meters. The current inflow is listed at 42,000 cubic meters per second, and the current outflow is listed at 48,000 cubic meters per second. Yesterday's water level was 166.96 meters. It is worth noting that all numbers are released by the CCP. And this comes courtesy of the New York Times. After pandemic, China's leaders face new challenges from flooding. Unusually heavy rains have wreaked havoc in central and southwestern China, leaving hundreds dead and disrupting the economy's post-pandemic recovery. Having brought the pandemic largely under control, China's leaders are now struggling with a surge of crippling floods that have killed hundreds of people and displaced millions across the central and southwestern parts of the country. Flooding on the Yangtze River peaked again this week in Sichuan province and the sprawling metropolis of Chongqing. While the Three Gorges Dam, 280 miles downstream, reached its highest level since it began holding water in 2003. This year's flooding has unfolded not as a single natural disaster with an enormous loss of life and property, but rather as a slow, merciless series of smaller ones whose combined toll has steadily mounted, even as official reports have focused on the government's relief efforts. The Chinese nation has fought natural disasters for thousands of years, gaining precious experience, the country's leader Xi Jinping declared on Tuesday after a visit to Anhui, another flooded province downstream from the Three Gorges Dam, we should continue to fight. Xi called China's disaster relief efforts a practical test of the leadership and command system of our army. He met with relatives of three people who died while fighting floods, and on Wednesday he addressed officers of the People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police, which have been involved in the relief work. Public appearances in flood-stricken areas by Xi underscored the severity of the crisis, which has delivered another blow to an economy still struggling to rebound from the pandemic. One resident of Chongqing in a video of the flooding there that circulated on a popular social media platform said, The losses have been heavy for many businesses, fighting the pandemic in the first half of the year and the flooding in the second half. In Sichuan on Friday, a landslide caused by heavy rains killed at least six other people in a village near Ya'an. Another in the same region left five people missing. Heavy rains are normal in southern China during the summer but this year's fell harder and longer than usual, inundating crops and entire communities over the last two months. Perhaps not coincidentally, she announced a campaign against food waste against the backdrop of the flooding, though officials have insisted there is no impending food crisis. The heavy rains this year have revived a debate over the Three Gorges Dam, a massive project that began in 1994 and forced the relocation of more than one million people, inundated entire communities, and badly damaged the surrounding environment. The flow of water into the dam's reservoir reached 75 million liters a second, breaking a record of 61 million liters a second set just last month, according to a statement from the Ministry of Water Resources. Although officials said the dam was in no danger, the water level has approached maximum capacity. Since the floods began in June, officials have repeatedly offered reassurances that the dam could withstand what has been called a once-in-a-century flooding. 
Some reports in state media have gone further, claiming that the dam had almost certainly prevented even worse flooding in major cities downstream, including Wuhan. On Friday, officials announced that the flow into the Three Gorges Dam had eased somewhat, though they remained on alert. The flood control pressure on the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River has been reduced, the government's Xinhua News Agency reported. China's other great waterway, the Yellow River, has also experienced more flooding. The Ministry of Water Resources said in a statement that in Shanxi Province on Friday, the river had reached the highest level since 1997. Nearly 700 smaller rivers and tributaries have also flooded, straining older dams and levees. In Chongqing, the flooding consumed Sikakao, an ancient riverside trading port near where the Jialing River merges with the Yangtze. It's too scary how the water rose, the manager of a restaurant there, who would only give her surname Zhang, said by telephone on Friday, humanity is insignificant in the face of disaster. And our next article is courtesy of UPI.com. Three Gorges Dam hits record levels as flooding continues in China. Fears that the Three Gorges Dam could be breached continue to grow in China, as rivers across the country continue to overflow and rise to record levels. About 260,000 residents in the southwestern city of Chongqing have been evacuated, and thousands of shops in the city were submerged underwater by Thursday, state-owned Beijing News reported. The dam, which was built in 2003 and spans the Yangtze River in Hubei province, is expected to receive a record 76,000 cubic meters of water per second as heavy downpours continue in the region, according to the report. Chinese authorities have said 10 of the dam's floodgates were opened on Wednesday, discharging 48,000 cubic meters of water per second. Water levels along the Yangtze River near Chongqing, upstream of the dam, reached new levels not seen since 1981, The Guardian reported on Thursday. Hongyadong, a city landmark, was partly submerged under water. The 11-story wooden building includes popular bars, cafes, and restaurants. Shopkeepers on the first and second floors were evacuated, according to Chinese state media. Other store owners were instructed to move their merchandise to higher floors of historical buildings, the South China Morning Post reported. The Three Gorges Dam, a massive state-led project, was built in 12 years, displacing millions and inundating vast areas of land, according to The Guardian. Mass flooding in several provinces across China has affected tens of millions of people. Beijing has limited information on the floods, prompting Chinese users of social media to upload images of downpours destroying towns and villages. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And our last article is courtesy of Market Watch. Historic flooding presents biggest ever challenge for China's massive Three Gorges Dam. Historic flooding is pummeling one of China's greatest walls, the massive Three Gorges Dam, and the economic, not to mention humanitarian, consequences are growing. The dam is a controversial marvel of engineering. Located on the Yangtze River just upstream from Wuhan, the city where the pandemic originated, its construction decades ago forced the displacement of more than one million people, and the reservoir it created flooded archaeological sites and the towns around them. Yet it now stands as not merely the world's largest hydroelectric dam, but the world's largest power station. Last year it produced roughly the same amount of electricity as the entire country of Vietnam or the Netherlands. Thus, the dam's hefty $30 billion price tag was recouped within a matter of years, and it now serves as an important energy source in a smoggy, coal-driven economy. China has been dismissive of the possibility of the massive dam being breached. It mostly keeps the topic out of the domestic media. The monitoring records of the Operation Department of the Three Gorges show that the main parameters of the dam's displacement, seepage, and deformation are all within the normal range, and the safety indicators of the water-retaining structures are stable, official Xinhua news agency said in a rare response to the issue.
The small chorus of outside experts concerned about the dam's integrity is led by Chinese-born engineer Wang Wilo, who was involved in planning for the Three Gorges project in the 1980s but now lives in Germany. In a long technical treatise published by Radio France International, Wang lays out the structural problems with the dam but places ultimate blame on the dereliction of duty and lies of the experts in charge of quality inspection. The flooding also comes as life had returned mostly to normal across the country in the wake of its public health crisis, with domestic tourism resuming, movie theaters reopening, and the government strongly hoping retail consumption would compensate for the lack of demand for its exports in much of the rest of the world. Our final piece of information is a series of photos courtesy of China Daily of the Three Gorges Dam opening all 11 outlets for the first time and a couple of additional photos. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.